How to view the created objective E assessments? When you select the objective type in View Assessments module, the screen will display all the created objective E assessments with respective filters along with pushed and unpushed buttons. By default, the last selection option, unpushed or pushed, is selected. On the viewing screen, you will be able to view data tables that show the status of the E assessments. The pushed table contains the data which is already pushed to the students and the unpushed table contains the data which is not pushed to the students. These tables contain the following headers. Number shows the record number or serial number of the e-assessment. Name name given to the e-assessment. Grade represents the grade for which the e-assessment is created for. Subject subject associated with the e-assessment. Created date represents the date of creation of the e-assessment. Modified date represents the date when the e-assessment was last modified. This feature is available only in the unpushed tab. Start date represents the date assigned for the e-assessments made available for students. This feature is available only in the pushed tab. Due date shows the end date of the e-assessment which is displayed only in pushed tab. Action is classified into two parts. Actions for pushed, submission details and repush. Actions for unpushed, delete and push. If you click on a particular unpushed e-assessment row, it will navigate you to modify e-assessment screen. Here you can view the e-assessment details which are filled by you earlier in create e-assessment section. You can edit the details and after some modifications, you can save the data by clicking on save or save and push button or you can select questions, few more questions, delete and take print using select questions, delete and print buttons respectively. Push It is a button which is at unpushed objective e-assessment respective record action column. When you click on this button, it will show the push e-assessment screen by selecting the section and start and end date and time you can push the e-assessment to the students. Delete This icon is used to delete the unpushed e-assessment from the view e-assessment table. Actions for pushed If you click on a particular e-assessment from tabulated push e-assessments, then it displays e-assessment details with back and print buttons. Submission details Submission details can be found in the record action column. By clicking on this button, you will be navigated to e-assessment submissions screen. This new screen will display the following headers in tubular form. Note, as it is an MCQ type paper, the e-assessments get graded automatically. Assigned date. This denotes the start date of the e-assessment. Submitted date. This denotes the date when the student submitted the e-assessment. Cancelled date. This denotes the date when the e-assessment was cancelled. Status. This denotes the status of the e-assessment submission by the students. Gray. Pending. Red. Cancelled. Green. Graded. Action. This consists of a button and two hyperlinks based on the status. If the status is pending, a push icon will be assigned next to it. If the status of graded, a review hyperlink will be assigned next to it. If you click on graded icon, you will be navigated to review page where you can update grade of the student's e-assessment submission. You can update grade and feedback by using the respective buttons. This feature allows you to modify previous changes in grading and feedback. Repush Using this feature, any pre-pushed e-assessment can be pushed again and made available for students. Cancel Using this feature, any pushed e-assessment can be cancelled and made 
unavailable for students. This can be done for a single student or set of students. Once an assessment is cancelled, additional details like cancelled date and status will be visible. Note, an e-assessment can only be cancelled when pushed or re-pushed e-assessment start date is yet due. Note, if a student submits the e-assessment subjective or objective late, then you will get the late notification. Notification icon is displayed at top right corner of the screen.